I'd like to invite Miyatani Sam back up again and Ben Bowlby to unveil uh, the CLRC. Gentlemen, please. Once we decided um, that Nissan would go back to Le Mans in the Garage 56 um, to showcase the zero emission on-demand technology, um, th that's when the moon race began. I mean, basically, we had a very, very short time um, to get the car together. Ground-up design, completely blank screen, if you'd see what I mean from a computer standpoint. Um, and first of all, looking at what the parameters for the electric drive would be. This is the challenge. This is what Ziod is really all about. It's the electric drive technology that gets us one lap of Le Mans at the racing speeds. Never been done before. It will be a world record when we get it. Um, and it's not been done before because it's really, really difficult. And um, really, that set the whole tone for the project. We had to find the low drag solutions. We had to find the low rolling resistance. We had to find you know, the packaging and lightweight constraints uh, to make it possible to showcase the electric technology. And so really, you know, because the electric challenge is what we're focused on, everything else then kind of had to fit in around it. Right, well, first of all, the cockpit is interesting in as much as this is 2014 regulation cockpit for LMP1. So it's the parameters from the size standpoint and also from the crash safety standpoint. So this is full 2014 spec. Inside the office, the driver has the tricky job of managing um, the car's controls. Um, in fact, we're going to make it as easy as we can for him to seamlessly be able to transfer between ICE power, so internal combustion engine, um, gasoline powered, and the electric drive. And in fact, he will have a button that will basically, at his command, on demand, he will be able to change to electric drive. Now, he must only do that if he wants to complete a full lap after the battery has been recharged during braking events. So the electric motors that power the car forwards under electric drive are also used as the regening, regeneration motors um, for braking events. So when the driver is braking, we take as much power as we can from each of the wheels at the rear of the car and store that electrical energy in the battery for use once the battery is full to, to, to make the next lap. Well, of course, we have got to monitor the state of charge of the battery and um, what is available to the driver at any time. Um, we will manage that energy in the most efficient way possible throughout the course of the race. And this is going to be something that we need time to learn about. You know, what is the characteristic of the car? We'll do our simulation work. We'll have the drivers put into the GT Academy simulators and give them the Zeod to drive and say, you know, what is the best strategy for uh, achieving this efficient uh, use of the electric power? And um, the, the also, you know, using the electric motor to generate a lot of the braking force requires a lot of very um, state-of-the-art technology in brake blending because we can't just use only electric braking on the rear. There's too much energy for us to be able to absorb it all. So we have to blend some mechanical braking with some electrical braking. And the driver shouldn't know that it's going on. His job is just to brake as late as he can and make lap time. That's what he does. What we have to do is make it possible for him. I will say to you, it's been a seven month design process and manufacture process. Now the learning really starts. We, we made assumptions about what was possible. We made them with the most educated materials we could, but they're still assumptions. So first job, first job is to make the thing run, right? I mean, we had a little bit of difficulty with that. We have to um, get it running in a way that is safe that is fast enough and is reliable enough. And we need to understand exactly which, which parts of our um, assumptions were good and which there are still some challenges to overcome with some countermeasures. So we've got some uh, countermeasures coming for getting us running at all. And then we're going to learn about the fine detail and presumably, you can be sure of this, we're racers, we're going to develop the components to get the performance that we need in time for Le Mans. This is what is so interesting about this kind of racing, this uh, experimental class. We are putting cutting edge technology in this vehicle for the purpose of learning. And that learning is something that we can carry over to future projects.